Here at the Newport Aquarium, we love movies like Finding Nemo or the recently released Finding Dory. Before guests even go through our doors, they know these aquatic animals that they've seen on the big screen. They can touch an anemone like where Nemo lives in or find Dory in our coral reef tank. But most importantly, they can connect with the conservation message that the movies share. Imagine that there's an animal that you've seen that your children or grandchildren will never see in the future. Unfortunately, threats like this are occurring today, including the threat for sea turtles. If we want crush and sea turtle populations to live to be 150 years old, there are certain things that we have to do and steps we must take. How old are you? 150, dude, and still young. Right here in our neighborhood, in our communities, we have the opportunity to kind of reduce the potential for plastics to get into the marine environment that will affect the lives of sea turtles. Using reusable uh, grocery bags, eliminating the need for one source plastics like uh, water bottles and, uh, and straws and plastic plates. No, it's not too late. We can continue to work to preserve our marine environments and protect the coral reefs where these animals live. Currently, all seven species of sea turtles are vulnerable or endangered. Many due to pollution or overfishing. Green sea turtles like squirt or crush are often hunted for their meat or eggs. The loggerhead sea turtle, like our turtle Denver, often get caught in fishing nets or even mistake our trash for food. We are in a partnership with the North Carolina State Aquariums. We every year travel to the North Carolina Aquariums. Um, we take a hatchling sea turtle that has had some sort of a, a delay for themselves. They've either been a straggler at the bottom of the nest and couldn't make out of the nest by themselves or just weren't uh, able to get to the water and swim. So we take those turtles and uh, they bring them back into their aquarium. Um, they will lend those out to other aquariums and zoos and we take care of them for a whole year. Basically, it's like a Head Start program. Um, probably were healthy from the get-go, they just needed a little help. So we raise them um, into a one-year-old, or we call it a yearling turtle size, and then we release them. So this year we brought back another hatchling, his name is Frank, and Frank will, he's in a, in a little enclosure right now, just as he's learning to dive and eat and get a little bit bigger. But you will be able to see Frank on exhibit at the Newport Aquarium in the beginning of the year. So sometime um, in the very early part of the year. He's going to be pretty small when we put him out this year. He'll probably be one of the smaller hatchlings that we've put out on exhibit. But uh, he's doing really great. So.